So after the slowdown uh, in the economy led to a slower pace in consumption in retail, Indian retailers are leaving no stone unturned to ensure the growth momentum is back on track. We've uh, spoken to a host of them who echoed the sentiment that investments in the sector continue as they eye a larger pie in the consumption basket, setting the pace for the coming quarters. Prerna has more on that. Prerna? Well, that's right. Indian retailers have embarked on a positive growth trajectory amid high competition in the retail space, especially in the modern trade retailers. Uh, and in fact, retailers are eyeing a larger share in the consumption basket as market sentiment has improved. And we've seen consumption picking up in the first half of the FY15 as well. In fact, future retail uh, continues to expand across geographies and will be making investments in a calibrated manner. We've We've also seen Arvind, uh, who has been tying up with global retail change. Uh, they are looking to grow at over 20% uh, this fiscal. We also saw Reliance Retail uh, going uh, aggressive on their food and grocery category, that is Reliance Fresh Stores, and have set an expansion uh, target for FY15. So clearly, uh, Indian retailers are uh, setting up their expansion plans uh, for FY15, as they believe consumption will pick up and gain strength in the second half of the quarter. Uh, we spoke to a host of uh, retailers and this is what they have got to say. Arvind has continued on a pretty aggressive growth trajectory. So the last three years, Arvind has grown at more than 20%. We have been investing across our businesses. And even if you look at this fiscal on a much larger base, we will grow greater than 20%. So we continue to invest in brands and retail and we do continue to invest in garmenting and the textile side as well. In terms of Infinity Retail, we are 100% owned by Tata Sons and Tata Sons so far has invested 700 crores into Infinity Retail. At this stage, we are not looking for further investment from Tata Sons, but we are also using the debt instruments. So let's see how we uh, how the year pans out. But there are projects which are uh, you know happening right now. So hopefully during season, we should be in a position to open. We might close the year with 105, 106 stores. People are also getting their models right. There is maturity in the marketplace. I believe the best time for food and grocery retail uh, is just about starting now.